Bill Gordon, everybody. All right, thank you for that very generous hand. Dad raising teenagers. What a greeting! What a greeting! This is really something because I'm usually greeted by just a single finger. You should see the view from here. This is something. I haven't seen this much loose pussy since I let my pit bull loose at the animal shelter. <laughs> That's a man, I can't say pit bull. <laughs> All right, the girls are ready tonight, I can see that. These are the girls from Pi Beta Phi. I'm ready, I better get ready tonight. Because I understand Pi Beta Phi is Greek for we're all easy. <laughs> That's what we hear. Now, it's great to be here tonight. Honestly, I'm feeling terrific. That's why I wore my good get laid jeans. Yeah. I'm hot today. <laughs> and I'll tell you something. Time flies. It used to be life was about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Today, it's more about sleep, Lipitor, and rock or recline. I love Lipitor! Lipitor is all right. That's all right. Do I understand? For you girls, some of you also go way back to uh, Riverside Brook Brookfield High. Is that right? Is that right? Brookfield? Sandberg High School. All right, then I'll, I'll talk slower for you. The Southsiders, you know, in public education, we'll do our best for you. No, but seriously, where is our bride to be? Beth, you look lovely tonight, Beth, but I want to tell you something, sweetheart. I'm on this show because I'm the voice of experience. It seems good now, but don't do it, sweetheart. Don't do it. Didn't you read Romeo? Didn't you read Romeo and Juliet in high school? In a matter of two hours, these two fall in love, start a family feud, and then kill each other. <laughs> it's not going to end good. It doesn't end good, believe me. <laughs> but seriously, I became a single parent overnight when my wife went to happy hour in 1993. <laughs> Those must have been some hors d'oeuvres, let me tell you. If you ask me, it was more like two pigs in a blanket. <laughs> oh! Oh! But I am not bitter. I am not bitter. After all, we made our lovely children together. I look in their faces and I see my blue eyes, her smile, my jaw, and the afro from the detail guy at the car wash. <laughs> I joke around, but my kids have good hearts. And kidneys, which are for sale on eBay. <laughs> Anybody on a wait list? <laughs> it's tough, though. You know, once you've, you've been divorced and you, you're out there trying to get back in the game again. You're out there dating when you turn 50 like I did. It's okay. It's okay, but it's not so great, let me tell you. The double ARP card, the ultimate humiliation of them all. I got this in the mail, I put it right in my wallet. Next to my bypass coupon and my get out of the nursing home free card. <laughs> and I did turn 50 recently. And I'll tell you, I noticed my body is changing. I expected to lose a little hair, but nobody told me my testicles were gonna start growing. <laughs> my balls, my balls are hanging so low they clang together like a perpetual motion machine from Hamburger Schlemmer. And when I walk, they roll behind me like tin cans tied to a just married limo. 
There's an image for you after the wedding. That's all she's going to be able to think about now are my testicles rolling behind the window. But seriously, girls, I'm hoping to really get lucky tonight. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that one of you hates your parents so bad that you'd be willing to bring me home to shame them. <laughs> it's tough out there when you're, when you're divorced like I am. Anybody tried online dating? No! Is this the shootout at the loser corral or what? You know what I wish? I wish somebody would come up with a conversion dictionary between what people say about themselves online and the truth. I mean, take me for example. I'm 50 plus, short, overweight, and bald. Here's how my profile reads on Match.com. Sleepless in Skokie. 26 year old baby boomer looking to check into the Paris Hilton. I like to sail and watch the sun set. When I'm not volunteering at a soup kitchen, you can probably find me doing hatha yoga or writing haikus. <laughs> Friends say the celebrity I resemble most is Clooney. Rosemary Clooney. <laughs> and girls, you're no more honest than the guys. Let me tell you something. Every profile I read sounds like this. 40-ish fitness buff seeks young stud for romantic dinners and possible long-term relationship. Translation, she's 50, fat, and she'll do you for a filet of fish. <laughs> I've been dating her about six months now. It's working out okay, you know, we're trying our best. And dating can be so tough. There's a lot of things online that will surprise you. <laughs> Have you heard this term, cougars? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this qualifies, but Nancy Reagan hit on me the other day. <laughs> and the week before, it was Cher. And don't you hate it when your date don't you hate it when your date leaves a little personal article behind so they can get in touch with you again? I had to put my foot down. I left her a voicemail. I said, Nancy, either pick up your dentures or they're going in the trash. <laughs> and then Cher shows up at my door and she says, you know, I think I lost something here. I said, yeah, your voice. <laughs> I'll tell you, when you date the mature women like I do, there's sometimes a little extra bonus surprise. And that is that they have lovely 21-year-old daughters. Yeah. And you're way ahead of me here, sir. The mother-daughter relationship, yeah. 